I've been talking a lot about video podcast distribution on social media lately, so I figured it was high time I take you through a full tutorial on how to submit your podcast to Spotify for Podcasters, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, and the rest. Let's dive in. The first thing we're going to do is head to spotify.podcasters.com and sign up for an account. Now it's asking me if I want to create a new podcast or bring my existing podcast over to Spotify for Podcasters. I'm going to create a new one. And the first thing it asks you to do is to upload your first episode. That can be your 30 second trailer or teaser, or it can be your actual first episode. Either way, we need content in the system to submit it to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and the rest. They won't accept a podcast with no content. I'll select the video file for my first episode, and then it's going to ask me for a title and description. So I'm going to grab that from my prepared document. This is your episode title and description, not the one for your full show. There we go. Title and description. When do I want it to publish? I need to publish it now because I can't submit my podcast without any content available in it. And it is not explicit and it does not contain promotional information. Is there any other information I want to add? I can open this up and see this. I'm going to classify it as a trailer because that's what it is. And I can put that it's part of season one. If I had specific cover art for this episode, I could put it in here. At the moment, I only have artwork for my show overall, which I'll put in in a different step. That all looks good. I can click next. Do I want to enable comments on my new podcast? I think any kind of interaction is always great, so I'll leave it open. And I can even add a poll to ask listeners any kind of question, but I'm going to leave that blank for now. All of this can be changed in the future too, so don't be too hung up on any of the decisions here. We can review what we've submitted and press publish. Now it's asking me for information about my show overall not just the episode. The author can be my name or it can be the name of my organization. I'll put in pop-up podcasting and I will say my primary category will be entrepreneurship. Then you choose a language. So this is the primary language on your podcast. I'm going to say English Canada and continue. Now I need to upload my podcast cover art. This should be a 3000 by 3000 pixel image. I created one earlier. This looks great. Your podcast cover art should look kind of like this where big, bold letters, um, it can have a picture of your face or the host's faces, uh, or your organization's logo, but everything needs to be big and bold because, uh, that it's going to show really small in the different podcast apps. And it's asking me if I'm ready to publish. I am. And it says, you're almost live. Your podcast will be available on Spotify shortly. We'll let you know as soon as it's ready. So we'll click continue here. And it's already giving me my Spotify link. Okay, so that's the first step. We've got our podcast submitted to Spotify. And we have our first episode uploaded. Now we want to connect to these other destinations. But first, let's make sure our podcast settings are all set up the way we want. We can go over to our about page. This is the name and description we put in at the last step. That's fine. The author, you may want your personal name or you may want the name of the organization. You can make sure that's correct. If you ever need to change your podcast cover art, that's where you do this or change your categories. And if we scroll down a bit further, we can put in some Spotify for Podcasters profile information. So you may want to change the URL slug, as they call it, uh, to something about your show. So we can say test show. You can put in your podcast website. I have mine in my notes. Put that in. We can put in our different social media channels. And if we ever want to delete the podcast, we can do it down here. So this all looks Good. We can hit save. Now that we're happy with all that, we can jump back to the availability tab. And the first step to submitting to Amazon and Apple would be to enable RSS distribution. So we're going to click the enable button here. And then this gives us 
not only an RSS feed URL that we're going to have to submit to the different platforms, but also our email address. So we do need to go ahead and add an email address because that's going to be used for verification on the different platforms. You can leave it as your existing email address and just click add, or you can change it to something else if somebody else needs to do those approvals. Okay, now I'm going to walk you through submitting to Amazon Music and Apple Podcasts. The process will be very much the same for the rest of these, so you can just repeat the steps for the rest of the suggested platforms here. Amazon Music says submit Amazon Music using their portal, so we'll click on that to be brought over to Amazon Music, and we want to add or claim our podcast. I'll sign in with my Amazon ID and password, and you're brought to this screen. We'll go back to Spotify for Podcasters and choose copy under our RSS feed. That's the key that connects these accounts. I'll paste it in here, choose my country, and submit. It's going to show me the artwork and ask if this is correct. I'll say yes and agree to their terms and conditions. And now they've sent an email to the email on file. I can go and confirm ownership on that. And it says you're all set. It'll be up on Amazon within 24 hours. Once it is up on Amazon, you can go ahead and paste that link here and click add to profile so that people visiting your Spotify for Podcasters profile can find you on Amazon Music if that's their preferred platform. We'll move ahead with Apple next. I'll choose Apple Podcasts Connect, and I'll use my existing Apple account for this. If you're part of a bigger organization, make sure you use a permanent email address and not one tied to a person who may leave the organization, because that can cause problems down the line if you need to make changes to your podcast. These verification codes can cause problems, so make sure that whoever's linked to the Apple account is available during the setup process. I'll choose text me, and I can go ahead and enter my code now. Okay, here I am logged into Apple Podcast Connect, and I'm going to press the plus button up here to add a new show. Do I have an RSS feed for it? I do, so I can click next, and I'll paste in that same RSS feed from Spotify for Podcasters into Apple Podcasts Connect. And it's showing me the information that it found in the RSS feed. It does require some different information. So I'm going to put in this stuff. Save. This show does not contain third-party content. Save that again. Apple's sometimes slow to bring in the RSS feed and find the content in it. It says here, we're still processing your show details, check back later, and then click publish. So you can do that. Sometimes it'll pop up if you hit reload a couple times, but other times you have to wait. But in the meantime, we can go on to some other platforms. The one place that we haven't talked about yet is YouTube. YouTube is one of the biggest places for video podcasts, so we need to make sure our podcast is available there. Spotify doesn't specifically prompt you to do this, but it's definitely worth it. So let's hop over to YouTube. I'm going to use my existing YouTube channel for this, and that's what I'd recommend if you have an account for your organization. So we'll click our profile icon up here and go to YouTube Studio to manage our YouTube content. Now if we go to our content tab here, we can actually go to podcasts tab up here. If you don't have a podcast tab here, you can actually just create a playlist and then click the three dots in it and choose set as podcast. Or you can click the create button in the upper right corner here and choose new podcast, which is what I'll do. So this one is going to be a little bit different for a video podcast. You could submit your RSS feed like we've done with the other platforms, but we want our video to be available in YouTube. And the RSS feed from Spotify for Podcasters is only carrying an audio-only version of the show. So to make our video accessible in YouTube, we're actually just going to create a new podcast separately without the RSS feed. 
We'll add our title and our description. We need our thumbnail, which will be our standard artwork. We want it to be visible to the public. And then we need some videos to add to our playlist. You can choose your existing YouTube videos here if you've already uploaded the episode or the trailer, or we can just click create and upload the video separately, which is what I'm going to do. So here we are in our podcast. You can see the, the show title here and the artwork here, and I'm going to say upload a new video and upload my show trailer. Very similar to adding an episode in Spotify for podcasters, we're going to need a title and a description. We'll make sure it's going into the right podcast playlist and click next. We can add subtitles or cards to it like any other YouTube video. We'll skip that for now. And we'll go ahead and make it public. And when you're ready, click publish. Now, by having a special playlist labeled as a podcast in your YouTube channel, YouTube is going to make your podcast available on YouTube Music as well, which is the new Google Podcasts. And it's worth mentioning, this is going to be the process every time you publish an episode. You upload it to your YouTube podcast playlist on your YouTube channel, and you upload it to your Spotify for Podcasters account. Spotify for Podcasters is linked to Apple Podcasts, Amazon, and any other distribution channels you linked for audio only. So you upload the video to Spotify for Podcasters because that makes your video accessible on Spotify and it makes your audio version of that accessible on those other platforms, which tend to be thought of as audio only platforms anyway. The other big video platform is YouTube. So we're uploading to YouTube as well in that special podcast playlist. So each time you have an episode, upload to YouTube, upload to Spotify for podcasters, and that gets your video as well as those audio only versions available everywhere people look for podcasts. Let's jump back to Apple Podcasts Connect and see if it's ready to publish. I'll hit reload here. Aha. So it's found the artwork. If we jump over to episodes, we have our first episode in there and all we have to do is press publish now that the publish button is accessible. So finishing up Apple podcasts, we play, press publish. It's given me an error. It's highlighting in red where I need to make a change. So the update frequency is just an estimate really, uh, but I'm going to say bi-weekly and then I'll press save and publish again. And now that it's published, I can scroll down here and get my Apple Podcasts URL, copy it, and go back to Spotify for Podcasters and enter it here so that it shows up on my profile. Let's take a look at our Spotify for Podcasters profile and see what that did. Copy the URL here. So here's my public profile page for Test Show. And you can see here, Obviously, Spotify for podcasters, heavily promoting Spotify, listen on Spotify button right there. But we also have available on and the Apple podcast link is there. So once you paste a link for Amazon into your podcast availability here, it'll show up as a button on your profile there. So the final stages of setting up your video podcast distribution are to just go down this list and submit to the different platforms. Once you get a link for that platform, enter it here and it'll show up as a button down here. And that's all there is to it. So once your initial setup is done, all you have to do when you have a new episode to publish is upload it to Spotify for podcasters with the title and description and upload it to that special YouTube playlist for your podcast with the title and description as well. So you're uploading twice and then it's available everywhere people find podcasts. I hope that was helpful. Let me know in the comments if there's any questions.